John Madden football. It's a pretty good representation of football. But what if I wanted to spend more money on the same game? Well, I could go to Walmart and spend $70 on the new Madden game, which is the same thing. But what if I want to spend less, more money? I play Joe Montana's NFL football. And this game is so different, physically, that it comes on a CD. Yeah, let's try it out to see if it's the same game. Yeah, I can't wait to play the same game. Wait a minute, it doesn't work. Oh, it's a CD game, so I guess I gotta buy a Sega CD then. When Nintendo released a Super Nintendo, it was pretty obvious that it was a lot more powerful than the Sega Genesis. So, Sega came up with the idea of, hey, let's release a CD add-on. TurboGrafx did it, and look what happened to them. They got fucked. Let's do it anyway. So, they released this thing, and... I don't remember. I think it was either 91 or 92 they released this thing. Um, and actually, this is the second model. They had two models. One for the Genesis Model 1, and this is this one was designed for the Model 2. Even though it'll work with the Model 1. Um, and yeah, your Genesis would just sit on here like this. And it would use this cartridge slot. It's not really a cartridge slot. The connector... And you can put your CD games and play your CD games. So what are we waiting for? Let's play some football! Oh yeah, you need a separate power cord for it too. So that's three of them if you have the tower of power like I do. I think people ignore the fact that the Sega CD has menu screen music back in 1991 and the Nintendo Switch doesn't have any at all. Also, in case you're wondering why Earth is in the background, it's because the uh, the code name for the or the development name for the Sega CD was Project Earth. Now you know. Okay, press start. This looks more like fishing than football. Put a music CD. You can listen to music. That's pretty cool. Except here's the problem. The Sega CD's major flaw. It is one of the most unreliable pieces of technology I have ever fucking used. I have two of them, and neither of them work. There's your motherfucking proof. These things are fucking unreliable. Like, you say the Jaguar CD is unreliable? Okay, I probably shouldn't compare it to the Jaguar CD. But these things are not reliable. That is your one warning before you buy one of these. Maybe I just have to blow on the disc. It works with cartridges. Nope, that didn't work. Good thing the same game's on here. And here. Oh, and on here as well. Well, I can't play Tomcat Ally. But this game, and most games on the Sega CD, are these games called FMV games. What does FMV stand for? Full motion video. Yeah, every time a video game is called an FMV, RUN AWAY! That pretty much means that this is a movie and really low resolution that you interact with. These games are not good. These games are garbage. You want to see these games? You get the exact same experience if you just go on YouTube and watch them. There's no difference. It's just a movie. So, why would you watch Tomcat Ally when you could watch Top Gun? Just watch Top Gun! Top Gun's better! Plus, it's got Tom Cruise in it. This has got fucking Dakota. I hate Dakota. There's a Dakota. There's a Dakota probably watching this video. Yeah, fuck you too. So, what are my honest opinions on the Sega CD? Don't 
don't, I don't really. There's no point going back to a Sega CD, with the exception of Sonic CD. But you can play Sonic CD on new systems, and if you really wanted an original copy, you can just get it on computer. You can get a, a copy on computer. This game, Sonic CD, was ported to computer a couple years later. So, there's no real reason to own one of these anymore, unless you're like me and got a 32X and then thought, oh, I might as well just complete the set, so I got a Sega CD. If you're going to buy a Sega CD, just, just understand that you might have to fix it. Or buy another one. I really like the 32X. I gave it a lot of shit in the video I made, but I really like the 32X. I don't really, I don't like the Sega CD. It's cool to collect the games for, because they're these big plastic cases. They surprise you how big the case is when you first get them. But besides from that, there's just no point.